What is up guys, it's Midwest Raider. I'm excited to bring you another video on my Midwest Raider channel. I'm also DJ Martini Midwest and DJ Martini Services on Facebook. Hey guys, I wanna bring you my second video, my second half on the Soundtown PA system. It is an array system and they have a few different styles out there so I'll tell you which one I have. But real quick before, let's uh, say one thing. Please guys, like, subscribe and please uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be having new videos out pretty regularly here, guys. I have equipment that I'm going to be uh, reviewing, all kinds of DJ type equipment. Um, I also do some Raiders blog, but if you guys are interested, just pass those ones by and just keep um, watching my DJ videos. Now, I've done other videos on Pro Rec, Clutch, and now Soundtown on different array systems. So I'm definitely on Array Kick. Like some of the array systems out there, and I'll give you a little positives and negatives at the end of this video on which one right now that I'm a fan of. But I definitely like all of them and I have used them a lot. Um, right now, so I have the Sound Town. This particular model is the Carpo 12D SPW. Now, like I said, Soundtown has a couple different variations of these PA systems, so it's going to be up to you to choose which one you want. I'm going to link on um, below this particular model that I bought, but there is a few different ones. So if you need a little bit more, if you want a bigger subwoofer or if you want different array speakers, you can do that. Now the one, there is one that has array speakers that are a little bit different with the curved design. This is like straight, it has a curved like array type speaker design. And that one has four four inch speakers. And I think it's a two way uh, speaker on it. So it has the, uh, you know, uh, a two-way uh, woofer and tweeter type speaker in it, but it is uh, four four-inch speakers. This is five. This is four five-inch speakers, but then it has that dome tweeter. And the reason why I did that is because I really like having a tweeter in a speaker. I think you just get more of the highs um, and all those uh, crisp clears that you're going to get from that tweeter, and then it matches with the you know however they cross over within the speaker with your uh, your mid-range type speakers so then that all works together and you get a nice sound i just like having a tweeter in a speaker personally that's my ear and that's what i think so i went with this for five inch uh, speakers with the dome tweeter uh, plus i really like the way these look uh, very nice uh, so I i'm totally impressed um, good build good weight uh, good feel and we'll, we'll hear the, the sound later, uh, but I really like the way they sound as well. Um, like I said, everything is gonna come in a box. Everything is gonna come really good. I have no problems with that. Everything was packed well. I did receive three different boxes, so you might get one shipment before you get the other. Um, I got the subwoofer first, and then the, the poles actually came together, and then the next day I got the, uh, the array speakers. So. It's all a package, but for some reason I got a couple things at different times. So no big deal, all got to me and I was able to get everything put together. So what I do like about these speakers, and then I did do another video on what's in the box and we kind of went over this. So it'll be kind of a little bit review, but I do like that the inputs are on the bottom. So it looks very, very clean when you're hooking up wires. Um, there's the back, the handle. Like I said, it also has uh, everything uh, hardware wise for you to mount them on to the ceiling if you like had a club or something like that or a business or somewhere where you wanted to mount these that you can mount them and make them look real clean. So I'm pretty excited about that. Poles you get, pretty standard poles. They say sound town on them, look pretty good. I'm actually using some different poles just because I left those in the box, but not a very big deal. They are your standard poles, but they're pretty good quality. Um, no issues with those at all, but you will get a set of those. Um, I'm going to take you off the stand and I'm going to show you the speaker and we can go a little bit in depth into the subwoofer. So let's jump into that and I'll take you over there. All right guys, so here is the subwoofer and I'll take you into that. So this is the Carpo 12 DSPW. Now this is very, very cool. Now if you guys remember, I did a video on the Carme or Carme 112 SPW and that is a 12 inch um, basically powered subwoofer from Soundtown. Now, so this is the one you're gonna get. 
you're going to just get one and you're going to get this one but if you notice the the carme up there is the exact same size and um you know everything so if you wanted to get one of these and then also buy a carme subwoofer you're going to have two subwoofers and then you can get some poles <clears throat> and you can put your arrays on top on top of them and you're going to have a nice little look uh, with that <clears throat> so it is quite possible to do that so now that i have two and like i said these aren't super heavy so you're not going to be breaking your back on these uh, but um, i actually need to get just one big sub just in case you do those really big gigs but i think if you had two of these you're really going to have no issues um, playing even bigger gigs so um, I'll have to test that out for sure but these do sound pretty good and like I said I've made a review on the Carme 112 as well and those run about $300 um, they have uh, 700 watts peak and 350 watts uh, RMS which is the same as this one except this one says it has 400 watts and I'm, st I'm thinking it has to have two different kinds of amps because it also has to power the array speakers so but exactly the same <clears throat> as the soundtown logo it's got these vented uh, ports in the front also has one on the back has your pole mount in here so you can still mount that pole here's the top uh, this is also blu-ray so or sorry not blu-ray uh, bluetooth uh, so you can bluetooth <clears throat> all right so let's talk about it guys so over here you're gonna have your Bluetooth you're gonna have an SD card you're going to have a flash drive port here and then you'll be able to control it with these controls pretty standard a lot of them have that you're gonna have a monitor out which is cool so you can actually run out from this and then you could run to another sub so it's easy to run to that other one uh, if you had two of them um, right here you're gonna have a sub volume like I said so you can adjust the volume of the sub differently from the volume of the arrays which is up here you also have a bass boost i've not really tested that too much but it says it is a bass boost you can do the frequency of your uh, subwoofer over here you have your bluetooth like i said you can run bluetooth or we can run a quarter jack and this is going to be your volume for that so it's a separate own channel for bluetooth or running 3.5 millimeter jack source over here you're going to have um, quarter jacks and RCA inputs and this is another channel here so you have uh, you know your volume for that you also have a digital echo here it looks like and you have bass and treble controls which I have not really messed with either um, over here you have uh, it says it's instrument so you could either do instrument or microphone so if you wanted to use this for a jam session uh, you wanted to uh, hook up a guitar and a microphone you definitely could do that and you have full uh, effect here you have effects knobs you have bass and treble as well you also have a little signal clip button I'm guessing and um, you know your quarter jack or uh, it's a combo jack uh, quarter or um, XLR so very very cool um, I love that they put you know a little bit more selection on here so you have RCA I mean you have full everything there's really nothing you couldn't do with this because you have all the connections that you you would need you can do quarter jack XLR, you could do uh, 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, RCA, Bluetooth. Really, they didn't leave anything out of this. They gave you everything um, that you need uh, in case you need it. So once again, I'll go in a little closer. This is the Carpo 12 DSPW. And like I said, they also have a bigger model that is a 15 inch sub if you want to look into that one. And they have some different arrays too. So then on the back guys, you got your power button, AC cord, uh, inline fuse, and then you have your two speak on cables, which you will get. You get the cables included uh, to go out to your rays. And then you have, of course, a cooling fan on the back as well. And the fan is, is nice. It's not that bad. Uh, not really a lot of sound you get off of it. Uh, so pretty, 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 pretty cool, guys. Um, take a look at it you got handles like I said easy to carry uh, I believe there is feet on the bottom 
I'm going to set you back up here and then I'll let you know that too. But uh, very nice sub. I like it. Uh, next, we'll get it all hooked up and I'll give you guys a quick sound test, like I said. That's the car may on the top. What is up, okay. guys? I wanted to bring you the third segment, which is the sound test you guys have been waiting for patiently. Here it comes. Um, I just wanted to show you guys something really, really quick. I set up the car may. Now, like I said, this is the another sub that I have from Soundtown called the car may 112. Uh, I think S. Uh, let's see. Car may SPW. Yes. Uh, there it is right there. If you notice, it is exactly the same as the system that you will be getting uh, except this one of course doesn't have a plate amp and it is just a powered subwoofer but i have it there with the pole mount with the arrays they look pretty good so if you wanted to run a setup like that and run two poles uh, with your arrays in the subwoofer that is quite possible to do all from soundtown i'll leave the links below if you're interested in purchasing that uh, i'll leave it in the links below and you can pick those up please purchase from my links that would definitely help my channel and help me bring you more videos in the future guys so thank you so much so let's continue on with the review and the sound test here i wanted to show you guys something really real quick before i do the sound test which is still kind of a sound test but i wanted to bring you the microphone on this now you do not get a microphone with the system so you have to have your own microphone but i wanted to show you guys just something that's a little concerning to me um, so the microphone does work and it works pretty good now this is about half volume and it sounds pretty decent but as you ramp up the volume i will ramp it all the way up to full volume this is full volume on the system now it sounds pretty good but i don't think it's enough i don't think you have enough headroom when you're doing a big gig unless everybody was completely quiet so you would definitely maybe be able to get a speech out but um if you had to use the microphone over people, I don't think you're going to have enough headroom. And that is the volume buried at full volume. It does have an effect on here as well, but I think the effect kind of takes all the bass out of the voice. So that's the effect. It's not like an echo or anything. Also, it does have bass too, so you can put more bass. Um, but I usually don't put bass on my microphone. And then usually it has a treble too, and you can add treble and take that away, but it kind of sounds pretty similar. So just to let you know, I always like to bring you guys everything and let you know what I think. And like I said, I just don't know if this has enough headroom for talking over a lot of people. So maybe if you hooked up, if you hooked up into your mixer or your controller and then ran it through the normal uh, setup, that's going into the uh, system, you might be able to have a little bit more. Um, I've seen that before um, than going through the actual system itself. So that's gonna be up to you guys, but I like to bring you everything, like I said, honest reviews, and that's what I think about that. Okay, guys? So it, it works, it's pretty good, but like I said, I just don't know if it's enough if you had to do it over people. So just to bring you that, guys, but it, it, it does work and it does uh, do what it, you know, it's supposed to, but like I said, I just don't know if it's enough. So if you hooked in through a controller or a mixer, you might get a little bit more volume out of it. All right, guys, let's bring you that sound test. I'm going to cut the bass and I'm going to cut the arrays at some point during the video. So I might be in front of the camera, but that's just so you guys can hear the arrays by themselves and the sub by itself. But let's give you a sound test. Like I said, real quick.
All right, guys, so that's a little bit of a sound test for you. Able to cut the bass, hear just the woofer, you could hear just the arrays, uh, and then it'll be up to you. Now, guys, that was just a little bit over half volume, and it is pretty loud, like I said. In this little room, definitely plenty, and like I said, you could definitely do a pretty good size room, uh, if not uh, a good wedding reception in a good size place. Um, definitely enough musically with extra headroom uh, to do whatever you guys need to do. So very, very, very cool little system uh, from Soundtown. Like I said, this particular model is the CarPo 112 DSPW along with the CarPo V5B array speakers. And like I said, this one will run about $490. Um, it is kind of reduced right now. So, you know, you might want to try to check that out. Um, buy from the links below will help me guys um, I think I have everything in there uh, so let me uh, go ahead and give you my summary so I'm not going to compare these to all the other systems I have I'm gonna make a separate video for that guys um, within the next day or so um, so it'll be coming really fast uh, that way I can just tell you what I think of all of them combined and it'll just be me and you sitting down and a quick talk about what I think about all the systems that I've done so far. These are all array systems and they all sounded pretty good and I'm actually pretty impressed with all of them but certain of them certain ones are better in certain type niche markets. So um, positives on the Soundtown system. Well the first of all is the price point. Uh, second of all is all the features that you get. You get everything that you're gonna need. Flash drive, SD, uh, monitor out RCAs, 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, Bluetooth, quarter jacks, RCA inputs, uh, XLR or quarter jack combo inputs for your microphone or an instrument. Really everything you need uh, sounds pretty good. Uh, the fan is not super loud, so that's a positive. These horn type boxes are built very well. Very sturdy construction, very tough. Definitely can see it. Um, dealing with uh, being beat up uh, the way the box are shaped as well very unique and definitely like a horn type box that's going to project the bass for you uh, very 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 nice really like them ray speakers built quality i like that you get five inch woofers and you get that dome tweeter which is going to add that uh, clarity for your highs makes them nice and crisp um, also i like the way they look very very nice um, very good looking um, I like that the uh, input is on the bottom here coming right down and then you can just clip these wires right to your poles very very cool thought on that and you know I love the overall sound of them um, so really really I have no complaints about this system other than the microphone input on the actual unit itself like I said it would probably work but you really don't know until you get it into that situation where you have that many people or whatever and then like i said if you don't have enough then that's going to be bad but if you do then that's you know you're good to go but you won't know until you have it but i just don't think since i've been doing this for a little while i don't know if it's enough headroom on the microphone input to get uh, over that many people if you had a lot of people so uh, that's my only probably negative is the actual microphone input other than that i i'm really really happy with the setup and the price point so uh, that's really my only negative and to have that as the only negative um, which is uh, a kind of an unknown negative uh, it might work but then it might not so you, you never never know um, so very 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 cool system uh, i'm really excited about it uh, so if you guys are interested like i said you guys can pick those up on the links below and I think that's about it guys so i appreciate you guys tuning in guys i have more videos coming on multiple dj type equipment i have a new controller i have another uh like all-in-one controller with speakers in it that i'm gonna be doing a review on uh i'm i got all kinds of new things uh coming in and it's all for you guys so please tune in like subscribe i'm bringing you budget equipment uh you know all kinds of equipment um I'm bringing it to you guys, guys. Uh, so I hope you appreciate it. Hope you guys tune in, like, subscribe. Uh, give me thoughts, feedback, whatever you want. I will hit you back as soon as I can. 
Uh, but like I said, I really like finding this equipment that's not out there, uh, not out there as in videos, uh, information for you because I can bring it to you first and then you guys can have kind of an idea of what you're getting into. So I really do like uh, bringing this stuff to you. I enjoy it, it's fun, uh, I love helping and so uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. So thanks for tuning in. Once again, this has been the Sound Town. Uh, it's a P all-in-one PA array system. This particular model was the Carpo V5B arrays and the Carpo 12D SPW, guys. Like I said, it's right around 490, between 490 and $500. And, you know, definitely well worth it. So uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you guys soon. More videos coming, so please like and subscribe, tune in, and uh, like. See you guys later.